Steven from Chainsaw Ace back today with another video. Today I have a steel MS391 with an extremely dirty carburetor. Upon my initial inspection, I noticed the trigger and the choke mechanism are extremely grainy and harder to push and pull than normal. This air filter is extremely dirty, coated with a dirt almost like baby powder. It's very, very fine. Let's remove the air filter and take a look inside. Here you can see the dirt has actually permeated through the air filter. You never want dirt inside of the filter cavity like this. This is bad. Looking here, you can see where it is into the intake. Now let's remove the air filter carburetor mount by removing these two eight millimeter nuts. Now remove the choke linkage with a flat headed screwdriver. Next, let's remove the air filter carburetor mount by prying the tabs from the isolation dampeners at the bottom. Give yourself some extra slack by loosening the ground wire in the chassis here with a flathead screwdriver. Okay, now we can see the carburetor has indeed ingested a lot of dirt. Let's remove the bar and chain for easier maneuverability. Now I'm going to release pressure in the fuel tank by loosening the fuel cap. Doing this keeps me from being sprayed by fuel from a pressurized fuel line. Now that we have the carburetor off, we can see the extent of the dirt ingestion. Yes, this is a dirty boy. Quite often, this level of dirt ingestion can destroy the rings of a chainsaw. However, for the purpose of this video, we're simply going to clean the carburetor and see if it works out. You can definitely feel the grit when moving the carburetor throttle and choke. Now let's get the carburetor opened up and take a look inside. Wow, we have a ton of dirt just resting on the diaphragm. Now for the other side. Yep, it's gritty as well. These diaphragms and gaskets are all still quite pliable and can be salvaged. We're simply going to clean this and try to reuse this old kit. Now let's remove the metering needle assembly. Let's drop the complete carburetor into the sonic cleaner for approximately 15 to 30 minutes. Repeat as necessary. Okay, now that we have the carburetor clean, let's get it out and blow through it thoroughly with compressed air. Off camera, I cleaned the carburetor kit by hand, so now let's get it installed back into the carburetor. Reinstalling the metering needle and rocker assembly can be a little difficult. I like to use a screwdriver here to help level things out to make it a little easier. Make sure your metering needle is opening and closing properly, like this. When reinstalling a metering diaphragm, make sure the metering side faces down. Now let's reinstall the carburetor back onto the chainsaw in reverse order. Make sure everything is lined up by pulling the trigger to test throttle function. Now let's reinstall the air intake carburetor mount along with the choke linkage. Let's tighten it all back up with the two 8mm nuts. And finally, install a new or cleaned air filter back onto the unit. This saw is really dirty. I'm going to clean it up a little bit before proceeding any further. Now, let's fill the unit up with some fresh 50 to 1 fuel mix before test starting. Wow, this chainsaw dodged a bullet and lives to cut another day. Now, let's get the top back of the unit and finish reassembling to finish up this job. While I'm doing this, I wanted to share some additional information about this job. Dirt is the mortal enemy of a carburetor, piston, rings, and cylinder. A carburetor can be cleaned and rebuilt fairly inexpensively, or replaced for that matter. However, installing a new piston, rings, and head can be quite expensive, especially if you're not doing the work yourself. Sometimes totaling up to 50 to 70 percent the price of a new chainsaw. Keeping a clean air filter can save you a ton of headache and money in the long run. It's a simple thing to do, just do it. 
Thanks again for watching. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one.